In this video, we'll be learning how to solve linear equations by graphing. Our, our objective for today is uh, to be able to find a solution of a given system of linear equations by graphing. I'll just get this on here. Okay, so we have that. And um, with linear equations, there's uh, typically three uh, certain types of graphs that come up. And that would be this graph right here, where it has two lines and they intersect at one point, being here in this case. And for those type of graphs, uh, this would be a consistent. Because there is a solution proven right here. This would be our solution That's why it's consistent and it is also independent Because They have different slopes Each line has a different slope The second type of graph would be an infinite solution type of graph. So that is where there's two lines at the same, they're the exact same lines. And that is an infinite. Because there's an infinite number of solutions and it is also consistent. Because there is in fact a solution and this one is dependent because there's, it's the same slope in both of these lines. Whereas with this one, there's a different slope on each. And then your third typical graph would be a parallel graph. And that is where you have two lines. They have the same slope, but have different Y intercepts. So this would be here, this would be a parallel graph. And this one would have no solutions. It is inconsistent. Because there is no solution, there's no intersection point between these two. And it is dependent. Dependent because, well, it has the uh, same slopes. So, to get into these for some practice problems, we can uh, put down a system of equation where it would be y equals 5x minus 2 and y equals negative 2x plus 5. Now, just, just looking at it, we know there's going to be a solution because they have different slopes and different y-intercepts proving that there's gonna be an intersect intersecting point. And we'll just get some graph paper to do it, just so it can be a bit more accurate. I'll write it down here. Y equals five X minus two. And Y equals negative two X plus five. Six. Okay. 
So we'll grab the first line in red and the second one in blue. So negative two is the y-intercept for the first equation with a slope of five over one. And our second equation is at five with the slope of negative two over one. <laughs> and our, as you can see, our intersection point is here. Now, when, when you're doing it graphically, it's not as accurate as it's other ways as uh, algebraically doing it by substitution or elimination. So a different way where we can check it is using the calculator. So right here, by just seeing, we can see that it'll be at 1, 3, according to 1, 3. And we can check it with our calculator. We just go. Turn this on. Uh, why? And as you can see, I already had it done. So we'll just put it in again. Uh, 5x minus 2 and negative 2x plus 5. Hit the graph button. Your system's equation comes up. And then to check it, just go second, calculate. Uh, go to your 5, which is intersect, which is what we're trying to find out. And then it'll ask you for first curve, so just kind of an estimate of where it is. Just go right here. And our second curve, be right there. And then our guess of where it'll be intersecting. And then it gives us our intersection at x equals one and y equals three. So that's your, that's a way to prove it graphically, which is a bit more accurate than just doing it free-handed, because you get an actual intersection point. So there's that. And then the next, question we'll be doing is an example with a, a parallel parallel equation so and this equation can be manipulated to that as well so we'll just make make one similar Now, the only thing to make get a parallel equation is if you have the same slope. Once you see that it has the same slope, you know it'll be parallel. So we can just put it in real quick. We'll just go at six. So we can just get those graphing, same thing. First equation will be red, second will be blue, just so you guys can see which one is which. So we'll start with five x minus two. So intercept at negative two. The slope of five over one. Second equation, 5x plus 3. So we'll intercept at 3. And it would probably be over here. So we can just get that in there.
as you can see, the equations never come into an intersection. So there would be no solution for this. Because it's parallel, these lines would never intersect each other. And we can check it again, but there, there's really no necessary because there is no solution. And now for an infinite equation, it's, it's literally just having the same equation for both. So it would literally just be y equals 5x minus 2. y equals 5x minus 2. It would be the same, same line. We can put it out real quick, but it's going to give you infinite solutions. Same line. So it's intersecting at every single point. Negative two, intercept, same thing, red and blue. So five x minus two. It's your first line. And then it'll be the same thing, just in blue. It's your same line, same equation, same line. So as you can see, they'll just be overlapping each other, being leaving this whole thing as a solution. And it's infinite, keeps on going, there's no end to it. So it's really just those, those are the three common ones. We're right here where we have an intersection point. This would be our solution at one, three. Parallel equations don't have a solution because they never intersect. And infinite equations, well, they all they have an infinite amount of equations, so your solution could be an infinite. Well, it's pretty much it. There's other ways of doing this that will give you more precise ways, which is uh, solving equations uh, algebraically by elimination and substitution, but we won't get into that as we're only supposed to do a graphing graphically. So just to recap, our objective for the day was to be able to find a solution of a system of linear equation by graphing. And we showed that through hand and with our calculator right here. So hopefully we could achieve that. Uh, hopefully you guys learned how to do this. Uh, and thank you.